While size might not be an issue in some friendships, for three fast-growing carnivore cubs, it could put the life of their tiny friend at risk. In South Africa, Lobi's Predator Park provides a home to some of the country's rescued large carnivores. Owner Anel Snayman runs the strangest of kindergartens here. Carla is a six-week-old brown hyena. Anel took her in after her mother was caught in a farmer's trap. Carla's current companions are two captive-born lion cubs, Safari and Susie. The two were rejected by their mother and now need round-the-clock care. As they were born in captivity, they can't ever be released into the wild. But when they're old enough, they'll be able to live in one of the large natural enclosures at the park. The three babies will grow into formidable predators. But an even more fearsome creature keeps this trio in line. This is Pockle, a meerkat, the bossiest resident in Anel's park. I think Pockle thinks he's in charge. He's rough with him, he likes to play, but if they get rough with each other, like the lion cubs and the hyena, then he will come in between. Pockle's got airs above his status and clearly doesn't know his place in the food chain. In the wild, Pockle could literally be breakfast for these predators. But here, this fearless little carnivore takes charge of who is eating what, and it's not him. When he's hungry, he will turn around and push his butt towards them. So he's pushing them out of the way so he can eat first. And they must be submissive, yeah. He's the dominant one. Pockle wasn't always this confident. He was brought in by members of the public who found him only days old, wandering alone without a family. He was very cold. He was almost on the edge of dying. And I pulled him through. Pockle grew quickly, but raised by humans, he can never go back to the wild. And meerkats live in large troops, so he needs company. Fortunately, every new arrival at the kindergarten gives him just that. So when Carla the hyena first arrived here at only a few days old, Pockle was quick to take her under his wing. They were a similar size back then, but not anymore. <laughs> 